They are some of the most beautiful parts of Arizona's national forests. But hidden beneath the green canopy of trees... It's the largest marijuana garden site, a growth site that I've ever seen. And deep inside these picturesque canyons is a cash crop that could spell serious danger for anyone unlucky enough to stumble through. A lot of times they'll be protected by, uh, by armed guards or booby traps. Now we're taking you into the wilderness to show you firsthand what one of these farms looks like and how these clandestine drug fields destroy something that belongs to all of us. This canyon south of Flagstaff has had three documented pot farms just in the last few years. It's about as remote and rugged as you can get, and that's exactly what these growers are looking for. We hike down the rim of the canyon. That was close. As we slide and stumble our way down the side of the canyon, the remoteness of this area begins to set in. Up here, you know, they're, they're, they're pretty isolated. They can grow, they can grow uh, quite a bit without getting caught. Doug Coleman is the acting special agent in charge of the Phoenix DEA office. His agents raid about 40 of these pot farms every year, a small number compared to the marijuana smuggled across the border. But these farms are in our own backyard. People that are hiking through the woods can certainly stumble upon these things. And the growers often work for Mexican drug gangs. Which side did you come down? This side over here? Back in the canyon, our crew has run into a problem. I think we're going to have to come up the side that's on your right. Okay. And I came down David's side of the tree, that side. You came down on that side? Tammy and I are taking one camera. We're going to go ahead and try to get into the canyon. Now we're on our own in the canyon with no cell service or backup and the possibility we're not alone down here. A key to one of these clandestine pot farms is a good source of water. And as you can see, this valley definitely has one. It looks like we're in the right area. According to investigators, some of these operations are elaborate with the growers living at the sites for months on end. As we're hiking along the creek bottom, we notice something sticking out of the ground. It's plastic piping. The growers use these to irrigate their crops. We scramble up the side of the creek wall and find what appears to be an old field. There's nothing growing here now because it's too early in the season, but that also makes it safer for us. One of the problems with these pot farms is that the farmers can use poisons which can affect the animals and the vegetation. The herbicides they use clear out the underbrush and eventually take out the trees. The DEA agent that told us about this area said to keep an eye out down here because these farmers are known to come back to this spot. In fact, they've been here three times already. Take a look at that, footprints going up that hill. We reach what appears to be the remnants of a second field higher up the side of the canyon. If you take a look up here, there's a cave that would have provided them shelter. Where the people are now is anybody's guess. I guess there's a chance they were scouting this area. His growing season starts in a month. Getting ready to come back out. Which means we need to get out before the pot farmers return and this beautiful canyon becomes off limits for another season.